Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with another tech video. Today we are installing a Recluse Radius CX on this 2022 YZ250FX. Uh, so if that sounds interesting, you want to learn, then join me. Let's get after it. Right, guys so first things first we've got the skid plate off now we're gonna drain the oil normally I would say that you want to lay this thing on the side so you don't have to drain the oil and all that stuff um, but this gentleman has put enough time on this brand new bike that he wants the oil changed anyway so we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil and then we'll get the uh, brake pedal out of the way and then we'll take the clutch cover off clutch cover is off now we're gonna have to take the clutch out All right, guys, so here is our recluse clutch. Um, with the Radius CX, you do get a new pressure plate, the expanding ring, a new hub, and all new plates, both friction and steels. Uh, so it's a really sweet deal. So what we've got to do now is we've got to take this pressure plate off. We're going to leave the stack in there so that we can break the nut loose to then pull the hub out, and then we'll start going back together. One thing I like to do is while we're getting started, I take the clutch pack, put it in the plastic bag that it came in, and then I put some oil in here to let these soak and get into the friction material, both on the expanding ring and the discs. There we go. Now it's marinating. All right guys, now it is time to get this main clutch hub nut off. You can see right there, it's a little indentation. That's what locks it on, on the Yamaha, the stock one. So what we're gonna do is get a little bitty punch, come in here and knock that out. And then this is a 30 millimeter nut. We're gonna spin that off. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna hold our hand against the clutch pack as we hit it with an impact. And that's gonna, holding this is gonna lock the clutch hub to the motor. Um, because we're going to act like the clutch is being engaged. That's going to spin it off, and then we'll go to putting the rest of it on. Pull this hub right off. All right, so make sure you put this washer back in. This is a spacer. Now we're gonna take our recluse hub. All right guys, next thing we're gonna do actually before we start second plates is we got these little sleeves and we're gonna put them into the clutch basket. And what these do is protect that basket from uh, getting notched by the friction plates. So we're just going to slide these in. I'll bring you in close to show you what they look like here in just a second. And guys, from personal experience, if you're doing this on a bike that already has hours on it, like a lot of hours, you want to really closely inspect the clutch basket because I actually uh, did this on mine and the clutch basket already had some grooves and I went ahead and you know, I just put these in, I didn't really think about it, and it ended up grooving these. These are really, really thin, um, so they're not super strong all by themselves, and if there's a notch behind it, it'll notch this too. So you gotta make sure your basket's in really good shape. If it's notched, you wanna go ahead and replace it. All right, guys, so we got all those in there. There you go, focus, there we go. So, see, that's protecting that aluminum from these really uh, super thin plates. All right, guys, on the Yamaha, we're going to put a steel plate in first. And then our expanding ring. And then another steel. And then friction steel, friction steel until we're done. 
All right, now we're gonna put the uh, locking nut on. So it comes with its own um, lock washer, or tab, whatever you wanna call it. Put that there. I'm gonna run this on. All right, once you buzz that down, you wanna reach in here to the inner hub and move it and make sure it moves freely because you got to make sure this basket gets all the way down on there. Um, and there's lots of little gears it needs to line up with um, to get, but there we go. Now it's good. Now we can bend these tabs up. I just do one in case you have to take it back off. Then you have another fresh one to do. So now before we put everything in there, we're going to set the installed uh, gap. So right now we're not going all the way. We're going to take our pressure plate and we're going to put three of our springs in. So we grab three of our clutch springs. These are the recluse ones. You can't reuse the old ones. We're just going to run these in. We're doing every other one. And that'll just put some tension on it so we can set the install height and then come back, whatever, get it all dialed in, and then you can put everything You want to run them all down. Um, you don't have to torque them or anything like that, but you want to run them all down uh, until they stop uh, so that there's even uh, pressure on them as you set this. We're going to unlock the locking pin. So we're going to come in here, push, and turn a quarter. There we go. Now, the uh, adjusting ring. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that ring and so here we're going to go counterclockwise with our finger until it stops. And what it's stopping against is the pressure plate. So just keep coming and it's going to stop. There we go. All right, now it's stopped. You don't want to put too much force on it, but with your fingers on that, you really can't. So, boom, there it stopped. Now that we found that, we're going to take our clutch bolts out. Now we take our pressure plate out. You want to be really careful because that locking pin can fall out. But if you're careful, you can just leave it there. All right, we're going to set a starting point. We're going to use one of these circles and then one of these little uh, half moon detents. So we're going to start there. They give you a little marker, but I'm going to use my own. <laughs> um, right there. Where are all the cylinders, Morgan? I have no idea. I don't know. That's what I just told. Uh, all right, now we've marked that. We've got a little mark on the uh, ring, and we're going to go one full turn out. go and then we're gonna go three uh, detents more so these are the circle detents Oops, sorry we're gonna go three more so we're gonna go one two three now that should get us really close it should be perfect on this so now we're gonna reinstall everything put the throw out and everything uh, and then we'll uh, check the free play at the uh, lever, put oil back in it, and then we'll check uh, the free play gain to make sure it's right. And guys, this is when you re-lock this. Come in. Quarter turn. Now that locks that plate where it can't move. pressure plate. Now we're going to install all the clutch bolts and torque them down after we get them all in there. And one way you guys to know that you are getting this correct is that once you get them, you know, tightened down, at least a few of them tightened down, the inner hub should move pretty freely like that. 
uh, like on a normal clutch, as you tighten, even if you got one or two of them tight, it would lock uh, the hub to the basket. But because the recluse is a normally open clutch uh, and it takes RPM to engage, that way you know you've got your least, you know, on the right track. Now I'm going to torque these things down to seven foot pounds. To do this, guys, you're going to have to put it in here because otherwise it'll just spin as you're tightening it down. So we'll just put it in first for now. It's fine. The seven foot pounds isn't much, and it's going to stop. There we go. And do it. Now we'll put the cool guy recluse clutch cover on it, put oil back in it, and then we'll check it once we, uh, I'll bring you back in once we are checking how it works. All right, guys, so we got it outside because these things are so loud. I don't know about you, but these freaking Yamaha four strokes are crazy loud. So let's get it started up. All right, now we're gonna check the free play game, which, the amount that this clutch lever will come in when we rev it. So we're gonna take the free play out of it, just leave a little bit of pressure on it. All right, we're gonna rev it. You see how? All right, guys, see how it came in? About an eighth, sixteenth of an eighth of an inch? That's what we're looking for, so it should be really good. Now I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna kick it in gear. And what you wanna feel is you wanna feel a little bit of a drag when it goes into gear. But you don't want it to stall, so let me put you guys down. Works perfect. Um, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's not really very hard to do, um, especially on these bikes, the hydraulic operated bikes, the Austrian bikes. You got to bleed the clutch and all that stuff. But these ones are super simple. The only problem is that if you have to make any adjustments, you got to take the clutch cover back off. But if you don't have to do that, you're good to go. Right on. On to the next job. Right on guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope that helps you if you're installing a recluse on your YZ250FX or really any of the YZ250Fs. Um, they all pretty much work the same. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope you get out and spread the gospel of two wheels. And I hope what we're doing here is inspiring you guys to work on, but more importantly, get out and ride your dirt bikes!